Hi moms and dads, welcome back. I'd love to hear how your observing went over the past couple of days and if anything came up for you, if any feelings of worry or concern or understanding came up. I'd love to hear your feedback and, and hear what's actually happening. So we are on number two. This is tip number two, topic number two. So we are again going to go back down memory lane. But we are going to go down memory lane and remember our parents. Now some of, us, some of us have amazing memories of our parents and some of us have not amazing memories of our parents. But it's also just an understanding of there was always some sort of support in our homes in the, in the capacity that your parents were able to give it to you. So I know there are some really tough times in our lives with our parents and some of us have shut down to even thinking that there was any support from our parents. So it's just allowing you again to understand this feeling of where your team is coming from. When they do shut down, when they do open up. So again, it's viewing it from a different perspective and understanding where they are. So we're going to go down memory lane again, and we are going to go. We're going to go um, into a space of when your parents did support you, when you felt there was support there. So, did they encourage you? Did they give you the wise words of, you know, if you don't stand up for yourself, nobody else will? Or did they, when you came home late or something happened and you knew you were in trouble? Your parents didn't say anything, they were all nice and kind and, and all of that when your friends were around. But you knew that as soon as your friends left, then all hell would break loose. Did they push you to a point where they're like, come on, you can do better than this? Um, did they think that you were perfect? Did they make you feel comfortable enough to open up and allow you to express what is what was happening in your day? And was your mom home when you got home from school? So you always knew there was that some sort of safety net. So let's pause again. Let's pause this video and just take that moment in remembering when were those times when my parents supported me as a teen? Okay, great. I hope you felt a, a sense of love and belonging and I hope you had a smile on your face with where your parents' intentions were. But now I'm going to ask you to go down the other side of being a teen or the other side of feeling the support. And sometimes the support doesn't come across as how it's supposed to, so we don't feel supported. And these are the times where maybe mom and dad were too critical on us. Maybe they were too overprotective and they didn't believe that we could achieve as much as we could achieve. Or maybe they were too lenient and they just allowed us to do whatever we wanted. Or maybe they were making their problems our problems. For example, money or washing the dishes or cleaning the house or, you know, and they were just putting all of that pressure on us. You know, when I wasn't, uh, I didn't have the opportunity to go to university and now you're messing things up. Um, I didn't have the money that that we have now and now you just take us for granted. So they're making their problem, they made your their problems your problems. So again, just sitting with those moments where it wasn't great a great feeling of you're not supporting me, you don't love me, you don't understand me, and you shut down to your parents. So let's just pause this video again and take those moments. Don't go too much into, into sadness with regards to that, or don't go too much into those deep, intense feelings, but just rather the surface. So again, it's to allow you to understand where your teens are coming from. So let's go down memory lane and see where your parents didn't support you fully. Hi, welcome back. So at the end of the day, we all turned out normal, right? We hope so. 
uh, I'm sure our parents all had all meant well with regards to how they were bringing us up. Um, and sometimes what happens is that we so focus so much on the past that we fear the future. And our projection of this fear is put onto our children. So my tip for today is to write down all the ways that your parents supported you and all the ways that you felt that your parents didn't support you. And writing it down, so if it's a journaling, if this is a big journaling moment, if it's a vision board moment, if it's a therapy session, if it's a chatting to a friend and just getting this all out, then do it. Take the time to do it. Because as soon as you understand where your wounds are and where your happiness is, then it allows you to understand where your child is. I look so forward to hearing your realizations and any any amazing moments that you've had. So enjoy this time and we'll chat soon. Bye.